my name is Jan Tallinn. I'm one of the uh, founding engineers of Skype. And for the last decade or so, I've been working on um, a topic known as existential risks. Uh, that is risks from uh, uh, new technologies that might kill ourselves. So like one kind of uh, general answer is that we need to do more research uh, about uh, how to do that because uh, we are we shouldn't, as the technologies get more and more powerful, we should not kind of play the catch-up game that we have usually played. Like as a fr my friend Max Tegmark says that when we invented fire, we, we kind of had a bunch of accidents and then we, then we invented uh, ways to kind of suppress fire. When we invented car, we, uh, it took a while uh, before we uh, invented seat belts and, and airbags. Uh, but with, as the technology get more and more powerful, we might actually uh, like need to uh, prepare in advance. Yeah, I guess the main advice is to uh, not just think about uh, what this inventing this technology would do to you or do to uh, your company, but think about what is the broad effect uh, that this uh, uh, technology might have and make sure that uh, you're doing things uh, in a way that actually benefits that is good for the for the common good. For example, if you are doing research into like pathogens, like the, uh, and if you should figure out how to really easily uh, create very deadly viruses, like it's it's very unlikely that the main effect is going to be like a, a sort of a, a few kind of academic references that you will get. There will be much broader effects. Uh, I guess uh, the main topic really is the need for bigger international coordination um, as uh, like. As civilization come up with uh, power, more and more powerful technologies, uh, there might be need for stronger and stronger cooperation and regulation uh, in the world to make sure that uh, we avoid uh, like sort of predictable uh, bad side effects or bad, bad externalities. Uh, and uh, cooperation and coordination between countries is, is really hard. One of the reasons why I'm here in Singapore is that uh, I really like the kind of geopolitical position of, that Singapore has between the kind of great powers of US and China. So I don't think that much about uh, the uh, convergence of uh, different technologies. I do think that there is, uh, we do create, uh, we do get kind of new capabilities uh, as a civilization uh, and those technologies can be used either deliberately or accidentally uh, for bad purposes, so how can we kind of uh, avoid those uh, effects, but also for good purposes. So for example, one way to, of looking at blockchain is that for the last 10 years or so, humanity has lived in a new regime, and that new regime is uh, it's now possible to have global consensus about a piece of data without trusting anyone central to manage it. So can we use that new capability uh, for good rather than for a dystopian uh, ends?